We'll guide you through how to fix headphones connected but no sound coming through them in Windows 11. If you find this useful then please consider subscribing and liking the video. This can be really annoying as you're then unable to go and use them, so we've got some different fixes you can try. To go and get started, head to the bottom right of your computer. You want to go and right click on the sound icon like so and press sound settings. In here, you need to make sure you go and select your headphones. If they are not here, we'll continue that in a moment. If you see them, select them and scroll down and adjust the volume. So if you can't go and see them here, then what you want to do is go and scroll down, go and press more sound settings. And then what you want to do in here is go into playback and make sure that they haven't been disabled. For example, they may go and say disabled and you can then right click and go and enable them and go and see if then you can go and select them in this list here. If they still aren't appearing, try using a different USB port or sound output port on your computer and go and see if they then go and appear and you can go and select them. If you can, then great. However, if they still aren't working and you've gone and selected them there, then what we can try doing is going and right clicking on the Windows button at the bottom and pressing device manager Alternatively, you can go and search for device manager at the bottom. Then what you want to do is go and find audio inputs and outputs. Go and find them in this list here and you can right click and go and press update driver like so. We can do an automatic search and go and see if it managed to update them at all. If they do, then great. If you still don't, then what you want to try doing is right clicking them here and you can press uninstall device and confirm your decision. Now scroll down and find sound video on game controllers at the bottom and go and see if you can find them again here, which I can right click and uninstall the device. And what we can do is go and restart our computer. We can press yes or press no and do it in a moment. After you do that, hopefully they'll now be working. You may need to go and select them in the sound output settings again. If you found this useful, then leave a like.